Hey guys, I uh, got a quick video today on, uh, I was coming down, we are getting ready to clean enclosures, I noticed a few mites on my big girl. So we're going to go ahead and show you uh, the process of doing that. I do want to let you guys know that this is what I use. It is a uh, star extra virgin olive oil. Pretty much pick it up at Walmart. It's fairly cheap. Works wonderfully. Uh, I did have a guy this week send me a message on YouTube and asked about, uh, you know, do you wipe the excess oil off and, and do all this? You don't. You take the snake out, start from the head, and just rub the entire body and put them back in. But we'll go ahead and show you the process on the big girl. Now, this introduction was done after that video, so that's why I'm out of breath. I am severely out of shape, and uh, I'm not very happy about it. So uh, hopefully you guys are handling the whole COVID-19 crisis uh, very well, and um, now's a really good time to check out some of your smaller breeders, and uh, they're, they're needing assistance as well. So if you're in the market for a new snake, check out the small breeders. You got uh, Nathan Spears, Russell DeBritz, Cole Craft. Um, Let's see, Mark Motionless Retic on Facebook. It does really good snakes. Um, who am I forgetting? If I forget you, I apologize. But, well, we'll go ahead and mention me too. I've got a few uh, smaller golden childs if anybody's interested. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, hope you enjoy seeing my fat ass struggle with my big girl and become completely out of breath. Thanks for watching. We're going to show you the fun process of treating a big girl for mites. Take olive oil and just start rubbing her down. Now the fun part is getting her back in the cage when she's super slick. Yeah, I found a couple of mites on her this morning, so go ahead and get her treated. And get them suffocated. Nope. <laughs> so, basically you just fight with her and let her assist you in getting all of her body. Rub it down with the olive oil and get her back in. Boy, she had a bunch of them on her. So that's the fun job of treating a larger retic for mites. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, for those of you that are in the process of setting up new reptile rooms or uh, just accumulating a bunch of snakes, let me show you one key tip. If, if you don't listen to anything else I say, listen to this. If you look and you're putting your room together, make sure you don't do this. Yes, I said don't do it. Do this with the podiums and make sure that they're all the way back against the wall. Not like that, like my dumbass did. Like that. Now, the reason for the podiums is so they can't get under anything. So, that's what you want to ideally make sure that your snake room does not have anything. They can get under, they can hook on, like the legs of tables. Uh, that way, if you want to get them out to do what I just did, it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry about them running in their stuff and getting intertwined with everything and pulling stuff down. So, uh, just another helpful tip. Um, and as far as the olive oil, when you put it in your hands, rub it together, and just let it run down the snake. You don't want it dripping on them. Uh, you don't want a lot of excess, but just... Uh, run it down the snake and make sure it's covered very well and there was one other thing i wanted to say before we ended this um can't think of it right now but 
maybe for the next video. Anyway, uh, sorry for the additional plug in here, but I did want to mention keep your snake room as uh, hide free as possible. Nothing where they can get under anything and hook on and be a pain in the butt to take out. So just a little added tip. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.